We Rad Dads, bringing a soft edge to a hard topic. Join us every week as we talk to real people with real stories, from the everyday single parent to family professionals, and find entertainment along the way. Join me, Walter J. Eggers, as I discover and share wisdom. Positive changes start here. Hello and welcome back again, Rad Dads. Walter Eggers, founder, creator, podcaster, uh, your voice of um, unreasonable reason or not. Uh, (laughs) Back in your eardrums again today for the first time in about eight months Guys, holy smokes, it's been a while. And uh, yeah, I just, I kept telling you, I wasn't going to go away. Here I am. You know, uh, I persevered. And I I would hope that uh, despite my absence, we've been able to find comfort and be resourceful in this time. I know I have. Uh, Not having a podcast for this long of time has really just forced me to kind of go out of my own little um, world of creation, of, of outsourcing. And I've looked at other examples and I've talked to other people and, uh, there's, there's a whole nother side of this, the experience that I I've had through this time, but I'm through the worst of it now. And I would hope that you have found comfort in past episodes in our conversations on the Facebook group. That's the we rad dads Facebook group. Go ahead and search it. I'm not going to give you the link who types in the link. Maybe you do, but you could find it on the quick links and the quick links are on the Apple podcast player. If you tap on the colorful album art, uh, a brief show description will come up with all the quick links that I'm mentioning here. So if you're not an Apple podcast, boo, uh, no, you could still find them stitcher, uh, Google play, uh, all kinds of different places. Um, you can copy paste if, if that's your thing, copy paste. Otherwise, search us out. Search us out on Facebook and uh, come in join the conversation. Guys, I wanted to thank you. Uh, I have sincere appreciation for you uh, in, in staying with me. Um, I know that there's a lot of attention being uh, solicited in your everyday life as a dad, as a single dad or mom, uh, at work, uh, and everything in between. And so I, I sincerely wanted to thank you for listening And sticking with us, and for those of you who are hearing this, are likely subscribed, and I I sincerely wanted to thank you for that. And I would hope that what I'm able to bring you, and what I can bring you at this time, is bringing you comfort. And if it is not, or if you see a gap in what it is that I'm doing, is something, hey, Walter, I need to know about X, and I want to know about how to deal better with my X, you know, Uh, or or how do I how do I make the ends meet? I'm I'm broke as a joke. Hey, I, trust me, I'm walking that walk myself, and I think I found a way for you guys. So that is one thing that I have been working on, and I'm uh, interested in actually starting another spinoff channel. And uh, it's uh, although I'm not actively working on it at the moment, uh, it seems like something that I would really like to do. And it is uh, based on what I am doing in my both online pursuit of side income. <clears throat> pardon me, uh, we're not an unedited here today. And partly it has to do with um, physical stuff that you can do. So you can side hustle on the weekends, that sort of thing. And I, I'm really thinking about calling it something uh, blue collarish. Uh, I have had several conversations uh, in my line of work. And as you may know, I'm a yard maintenance guy, very illustrious. Uh, but I've actually created a new title for myself and a new business with a partner. Another thing I've been working on in these last eight months, despite, well, another story that I will tell you another day. Uh, so things are really changing here and I'm actually moving out of the maintenance business into something else, which is still blue collar, but I have a profit share. I have a partner. I have a business. Things are really starting to take off for me. So if you guys have followed me for any time, you know that I kind of fell off a little bit, uh, emotionally and very despondent, especially with regard to money guys, this is what we do. I mean, this is what I do. I don't know about you guys, but I know when I'm, my funds are tight, I'm not a very happy camper. Yeah, I can put on that facade. I can put on that mask. I put on that face and say, oh, yeah, everything's great. I'm just eating a butter sandwich because, well, you know, I enjoy butter. Uh, no, you know what I'm saying? You're scrimping. You're saving. You're trying to make those ends meet. Some of you have uh, alimony and child support, and it is, they have, they're merciless. 
when they make those rulings um, and the situation may have changed. You, maybe you lost your job. Maybe you know, because of the emotional turmoil, we're, we're monetarily hurting. Uh, we're physically and emotionally hurting, and and that has a real compound effect into our overall presence, uh, mind state, and and our optimism. You know, I lost my optimism here recently. Again, story I'm not going to get into too much right now, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I I'm when I say I'm walking this walk right here with you, that I'm in the trenches here with you. That's exactly what it is, guys. I I want to take a minute now and pivot. Well, more on that later. I want to take a now, a minute now and pivot into what I wanted to talk about to you today. And it's something that I had um, heard and I would like to repeat it to you um, in my own words. Um, and this very episode is an example of that. So here goes. Life is imperfect. Stop waiting for the perfect time to do X or Y or Z. Because you and I, your sister, your mom, your ex, your kids even, may know that things aren't perfect right now. But I am living proof based on what I just said. My businesses, my life, my podcast, where things kind of fell off. And I fell off. Guys, stop waiting and just get started. You've got something that you're working on. You've got something that you need to do. And trust me, I get it. You're probably going in all directions at once. And maybe you have 20 things to do before you can get started. Fine. Take that first step. Uh, another analogy that I'll throw your direction is uh, my house is an absolute disaster. I, I know I'm not alone here. Guys, I'm not proud of the fact that dishes in the sink stay there for, well, until I get the dishes out of the dishwasher. And they stay there until I'm, well absolutely desperate for dishes. And of course, <laughs> I'm not proud to admit that when I run out of bowls, I go into the pantry and eat out of the Tupperware. My house, my home life is not perfect to say the least. And I'm finally okay with that. You know why? Because I'm doing the best I can as a dad. And I know you are too. And the reason you're listening to this right now is because you want to do the best you can as a dad. And I commend you for that. How many guys out there, I mean, even in the quote, perfect scenario, the married wife, the 2.5 kids, what's 0.5 of a kid? I don't know what that is. I'm not going to jump into that. No, I'm going to leave that right there. Anyway, picket fence, et cetera. How many of those guys aren't even considering how they can be a better father, a better man, a better person, husband, citizen, brother? I commend you guys for jumping in here and, and sticking it out with me. This show is a very the very example of what I'm talking about. It is imperfect. For you longtime listeners, how many how many episodes did I record on my desktop mic? Not not the professional mic that I'm talking to you in now. Hope hope hopefully yeah. I just double checked it. We're good. Uh, and 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 it sounded like I was recording through a, a string in two cans. It's imperfect. But I would hope during those episodes you were able to extract some nuggets, some wisdom. I know I was. Guys, I'm not going to jump into this huge diatribe, and I'm going to keep this episode short. I'm going to call it a microsode. Why not? I've been wanting to do a lot more microsodes anyway. Clearly, I don't have a guest today. Um, stop waiting. Stop telling yourself, and this is, this is the core of what I grabbed from another person's conversation. Stop waiting for X to start or get Y. That is enabling thoughts right there. That's telling yourself that you can't have Y because of X. If I only had enough money, I could. If I only had a wife, I could. If I only had more time, we could. Guys, I get it. Struggle is real. But struggle is omnipresent. Everyone deals with struggle. Do not allow that methodology, that type of thinking to keep you from getting started. Here's some harsh truth for yourself, so brace yourself. I needed to hear this as much as maybe some of you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Life is work. The cliche of this all is nothing good 
comes without hard work and sacrifice. Guys, take the time, whether it's a minute a day, five minutes a day, get up a little early if you can. If your goals are fitness, get up early and start doing push-ups. There are literally hundreds of thousands of YouTube videos for that sort of thing. And speaking of, guys, go over there and, and whatever it is you have a curiosity about. You want to make more money? There's probably you know video clips about that sort of thing. If you have an idea for a business, get out there and study it. Google it. Figure out how to make that extra side money. I figured out how to podcast, and I've been producing podcasts for several different shows now, and it's become a very viable business in its own right. I have been, I started my own maintenance company from a borrowed truck, a borrowed mower, string trimmer, and literally a borrowed garbage can. I started my business a year and a half ago, and now I'm starting a landscape company with a partner and employees and the whole nine. Guys, if you have a desire to do something, take the first steps. If you're afraid of being uncomfortable or being seen uh, or being judged in a way that, you know, is not positive. If you're putting on that facade, you know, first of all, I would say, I would, I would verbally slap you. I'm, I'm going to verbally slap you right now. All right. So here's some truth. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares as much as you think they do about your station in life. And if they do, quite honestly, what does it matter to you? I'm still driving around a beat up truck. That vehicle, and this is very common for me specifically, your vehicle, your house, your current life situation does not dictate who you are. It dictates where you are right now. And the choice is yours, whether you want to stay there or move forward. Guys, I, I fought this battle myself. Uh, I wanted to be seen as successful and blah, blah, blah. And I'm this certain age. I guess I'm going to tell you right now. I turned 40 this last year. Perspective has been widened quite a bit. And I stopped giving other people the decision to tell me who I am. I started living myself. Not for today, specifically. Even though I do take opportunity to live today. That's another podcast. I took control of my life. I knew I didn't want to push a lawnmower the rest of my life, but that's where I started. And currently, as of a couple days ago, I quit. I quit because I have another two businesses, three now, that are starting to really take off. The podcast production thing is really taking off. It took time. It took effort. It took will. Guys, this is life. Stop waiting for the perfect time, guys. Man, I sound preachy on this one. I swear I'm not. I'm, I'm a regular guy just like you. And, you know, being a regular guy, I would love your interaction. I mentioned the Facebook group early on. If you want to talk to me, if you want to write me a scathing note, go for it, man. I, honest to God, I would love to hear that. I would love to hear what you find um, upsetting or wrong or difficult or missing in this show because you're not alone. That's the whole point of this group. We rad dads, all of us inclusive meet us up at our home base on Facebook. That's our, that's the Facebook group page. Just ask to be added. And if you're not a spammer, you're going to come right in. I mean, that's all there is to it. Of course, if you are a spammer, I'm going to delete you and ban you. So eh, don't do that. Um, <laughs> and I, again, I assume anybody who's listening to this is, is really trying to help themselves out. And if you get a group of people like that who are who are similar minded, they all want to be better. Literal magic happens. Guys, get in there and find your. Oh, excuse me. Oh, choked a little bit. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Real pod, real pod. No edits here. Guys, if you are looking for that tribe, if you are staggering, weary, exhausted, emaciated, metaphorically or physically, if if you're doing that through life. And you don't think you can go on. This is your first start, your first step or second or third, or how many ever steps you think you've had this to the point. The idea is to start where you are and take the best steps forward as you possibly can. Guys, I'm droning on about this. This is a very common theme in the show. I'm going to wrap this, but not before. Again, I thank you for listening. 
for sharing, for being part of the group and the conversations there. I wanted to formally apologize to you guys. I really do feel like I let you down. If you listen to my episode zero, you're going to hear a guy who is just fired up talking about two episodes a week and, you know, all this and uh, some of my Facebook posts even, Hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And (laughs) there's, there's no question that I want to do those things. And you should be the same way. You should want to do X, Y, and Z above and beyond. Sometimes life happens. Again, I will go over exactly what's occurred in the last eight months with me personally. It's going to be a very special episode and it may not be, (laughs) it's going to have a few twists and turns. Let me tell you. But what's important is I'm healthy now. No question in my life, no question in my mind that uh, I went through a very, very dark period. But I'm here to say thank you for listening, for subscribing, because, and here's the kicker, because We Read Dad's podcast has not gone a single day without any downloads whatsoever. Not one day has the count on the downloads been zero. Somebody has listened every single day in the eight months that I've been absent. Guys, that means the world to me. You are the reason I started this. You are the reason I'm going to keep going. Moving forward, I don't expect to have weekly guests or shows. They're going to be kind of at random, but they're going to be a little more frequent than every eight months or so. I do promise you that. And the more interaction we get, the more shows I can do. I'm very flexible. Just got to sit down and get it done. And you should too. Don't wait for X to get Y. Stop waiting and start. Guys, I love you like brothers, all right? And I, and I, before I drone on anymore, I just want to we'll close off by saying again, thank you, heartfelt thank you, and now you know why. Not a single zero download day. Much love, guys. All right. Guys, keep each other, hold each other close, help each other. Hold each other close Count kind of sounds interesting, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, <laughs> jump into the We Rad Dads Facebook group, guys. Uh, I've got some other content that I'd really like to work on, and I've got some crossover stuff. If you're interested in making passive or side revenue, if you are a blue-collar guy, if you have skills, if you don't have skills, guys, hit me up. I would love to help you out with brainstorming ideas how to make those ends meet better, how to take your kids to Disneyland on your side income, how to do that sort of thing. Hit me up on the Facebook group, guys. Let's start talking about this stuff. We're all concerned about it. Let's start talking about how you want to get your kids back or how... I don't want to hear about the dirty uh, on, on the X, right? We don't want to trash anybody here. But I want to help you figure out a way to work with your ex. How to work with your child's mom. And you think it's impossible now. I did too. But I'm in a place right now. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And it's been two years. Guys, I don't know if you can hear my phone ringing in the background. I've got a podcast client that wants to talk. So I'm going to let you go. Guys, stay up. Stay connected. And stay rad dads. All right? Keep it real. And see you over there on the Facebook group. Well, that's it for this episode of We Rad Dads. I sincerely thank you for joining us. Don't forget to look us up at www.weraddads.com. There you can find links to our Facebook page and Twitter account. Got a question or comment? It may be featured. Email me, Walter, at weraddads.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for joining us. And remember, stay up, stay connected, and stay rad, dads. Goodbye. Do it one more time. Goodbye. Does the red. How about... I'll see you later. I'll see you later. There's the red. How about hasta la vista, baby? Hasta la vista, baby. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. (laughs) I'll be back.